presentation. So, hello, good afternoon to all. So, greetings from uh, Triple M Hospital, Chennai, India. So, here is a case. Uh, here is a adult male, age 42 years. He underwent surgery when he was 10 years old for PDA through left postulatal thoracotomy. Uh, on surgical notes, it was mentioned that there was no PDA was found. Possibility of outer pulmonary window was considered and advised case study, which he did not undergo and he was lost to follow up. He is asymptomatic. On examination, he has high volume collapsing pulse. Blood pressure is 150 by 70 millimeters of mercury in right upper limb supine. He has cardiomegaly, hyperdynamic apex, normal S2 split. There is a continuous thrill and grade 5 by 6 continuous murmur in the second left intercostal space. His chest x-ray showed cardiothoracic ratio of 60%, dilated MPA segment, ascending outer is dilated and pulmonary pethora. On ECG, it was found that he has sinus rhythm, QRS axis of plus 60 and prominent LV forces with Q waves in LV, in uh, V5, V6. The 2D echo showed dilated LA and LV, moderate size 9mm outer pulmonary window located 3.8 cm away from the aortic and pulmonary valve, shuntering left to right with a peak systolic gradient of 120 and end diastolic gradient of 56. There was no pulmonary heart hypertension. These are the echo pictures. This is the four chamber view. Dilated LALV, concentric LVH and mild TR are observed here. And this is the short axis view showing the outer pulmonary window. This is a moderate size 9 mm proximal outer pulmonary window shunting left to right located 3.8 cm away from the outer and pulmonary valve. This is a dilated MPA segment. So thank you. So, Dietmar, uh, I have with me Dr. Uma Mageshwar. He is one of my senior colleagues. And uh, Nurse Sharmila, technologist Mohammed, Alam looking after the patient's comfort, and uh, Janani showing the intracardiac echo pictures. Fluoroscopy live. So, what we did was we took a arterial and venous punctures. We have the intracardiac echo catheter in the superior vena cava focusing towards the AP window. We had an aortic pulse pressure of around 75 millimeters of mercury. The pulmonary artery systolic pressure was around 40 to 45 systolic with a mean of 30 to 31. And there was a sizable left right shunt. We tried to get some angiography, however, large aorta, all the contrast gets washed away. Next picture. If we, we uh, change the angulation to a marginal LAO, we are able to appreciate the pulmonary artery filling, but it is not a, not a good uh, picture. So we are going to be entirely doing it on intracardiac echo. Show the intracardiac echo, generally first picture. Echo picture, first one. Echo, echo. echo live. Show the echo big. So what we have is the, the ice catheter in the superior vena cava. The proximal large vessel is the ascending iota. Show Janani. Yeah, that is the ascending iota. And distal vessel is the pulmonary artery. Next picture. And that is the AP window. We are able to see the color flow from the iota into the pulmonary artery. Next picture. Next. So we can see the window. Yeah, we will show the measurement now. Next. So, so this is the window. It's even better seen here. That is the window. Next picture. So here it is measuring around 10 millimeter. Next picture. So here we got around 12.5. Okay, so that is that is almost it is coming to anywhere between 10 to 12 millimeter. Next picture. So okay. So that is that is the that is the color flow. Show the next fluoroscopy. Go to fluoroscopy live. So the next picture. So what we did was we took a aortic uh, catheter. We dropped a wire into the pulmonary artery. Then next picture. Next. So then, okay. Then subsequently, next next. So once we got the uh, uh, next next one, once we got the arterial vena circuit, we then. Did, did you have any problems? No, no, no. It was very. The wire. 
Yeah. No, so it, it was very easily was going very through. Easy. You can you can see now that is that is the that is the wire crossing through. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So then we got the regular circuit, and now I'll show you live. What we have is through the AP window, a venous sheath from the main pulmonary artery going into the descending thoracic aorta, and we are having echo. Show echo big. Fluoro small. Take away our photos. Yeah, superb. So we are seeing the sheath that is passing through the AP window into the ascending aorta. I want to show the device that we are going to use. Focus now on the camera. So this is going to be a 12. Well, the first time uh, convinced by the eyes. What is your intention? Let me ask just the uh, auditorium here. Who have uh, experience with uh, APW? Nobody. Oh, one. Uh, from Egypt, super. Oliver, do you have any? You have? How many uh, patients you t did you treat? Four? Oh. Ma Mario? Yes. Just one received a lot of survey. Uh-huh. 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 All. One? <laughs> One. Okay, what is your uh, intention now? We are planning to close this with a double we are planning to close it with a double disc device. We want yes. to we want to have a larger disc on the iota and a smaller disc on the pulmonary artery. Since it is a grown up so patient, the, there is the going to be were similar. The, no, the, the pressures, pressures were similar. I, I got it. No, no, no. The pressures on the aorta is 140, and on the pulmonary side is only 50, 50. Pressures are not similar. Okay. 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 Yes, that's okay. Since it is a window, I want to be secure. So we have a retention skirt on the uh, uh, pulmonary artery, and there is a seven yes. millimeter separation between the two to accommodate for the thickness of the ascending aorta and thickness of the pulmonary artery. So I am re I am loading okay. it. This is the memo part asymmetric device made by the Lepu Medical, which uh, is uh, is uh, one of the one of the Chinese companies which manufactures nitinol based devices, and uh, and we are using one of those devices. So I have I have uh, uh, waist size. The the, the waist size is twelve. Uh, twelve. Okay. So we are. We are not intending to oversize enormously, but but the aortic retention skirt is quite large. So you have a waist of 12. That means on uh, in total on the aortic side, uh, eight, eight, 20 millimeters. Yes, four mil centimeters. Yeah, four millimeter on the aortic side, and uh, two millimeter on yeah, the pulmonary okay, side. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So. So now we are bringing back the device. So this is the window. So it, you can see the intracardiac echo. Intracardiac echo big. Keep recording, Janani. So intracardiac echo big, fluoroscopy small. Color the AP window. That is a very nice picture by eyes. I never was so convinced by the eyes and now by this procedure, believe me. But so, I, the device looks a little bit small, is it? Yeah, but uh, but since I have gone 20 millimeters, I am, I think it should work. Okay. How many experience you have? Ten patients so of, far. I think. Ten patients. Ten patients. Wow. I think the most in the world. You have to publish it. So now the oh. device is in. I'm pushing it up. How do you feel, Dietmar? How you? That looks very nice. But how do you make the decision now that it is stable? We have had a, a big discussion before with the ASD here in uh, Zygon by Tin. But uh, what what makes you let me say convincing that the device is not too small? I will do a Minnesota or a geese and wiggle now. Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe. No. So now that you have the, the device as a marker, can you turn the ice visualization around the probe can you, so can, that we see the other can you Can you see that? I am actually pulling it. Can you see the fluoroscopy? Fluoro bigger. 
Fluoro bigger. Yeah, now you see. Can you see that I'm actually giving a significant tug? Yeah, okay. So you have the waves have a little bit an obstruction maybe, and that might be proper the size of the device, isn't it? Is this your uh, intention to find out that the waves have to be a little bit obstructed? Yeah, actually, not right now. The structures of the right now, right now, make the echo yeah. bigger, echo bigger. Almost, nice. almost we have stopped the flows. Record it, Janani. Can you see that there is there is no there is no continuous flow from the uh, uh, there is no continuous flow from the uh, iota into the pulmonary artery? Can you see Dr. Dietmar on the echo? Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Do you give contrast through the long sheets in the on the? Uh, pulmonary side. I, uh, from the aortic side, I will give you. No, I mean through the. You can yeah, before you release, you make an angiography and aortic one. But even you can give uh, contrast through the long sheet. I I will do that. But very often the, there will be a overlap between the right pulmonary artery and the. Uh, so we will not get a separation. I'll first give the aortic picture. Give 30 ml yeah. at 15 rate. Uh, rotate the. Uh, now the pulmonary artery pressure has reduced to 23 millimeters. Previously it was 42, and now it uh, is 23. The is here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and now I will show you the the, here, yes. the aortic yes. pressure has increased to 160. The pulmonary artery pressure has fallen to 23. Uh, give uh, give a uh, yeah, that is fantastic. That is looks great. Yes. Yeah. Come so, come towards uh, Arivo. Arivo. My question was. Start with the. Arivo. Arivo. Come more. Enough. Do you, do you Enough. applicate contrast? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's a wonderful yeah. position now. Shall I? In the. Uh, Shoot. Dina. Yeah. It looks good. So freeze the frame where it was shown. Wonderful. Best. Enough. Yeah. In fact, oh, in fact, Dr. Dietmar, intracardiac echo is better. Show the intracardiac echo. Yeah, yeah. Echo, echo it big. It looks like a, a closed a close pot shunt, but not on the pot, but on the water inside. Yeah. So, Dietmar, if you are happy, I'm going to release. Release. I trust in you. I become your fan more and more. We are fans. Yes. By Shiva. He's great. So, uh, Mohammed, one more picture. Let me say, or let me ask you, how long was your procedure time now in preparing all? It is so fantastic that I really, uh, not only me, Should. congratulate you. I think we gave a good applause. Oh. Did you applicate now the... No, that's the long sheet. I'm going to give through the long sheet right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, give. Uh, uh, can are you are you ready to give about 30 ml at uh, how much is there? Yeah, 27. Give the 27 ml at. Uh, go to your level cranial projection. W. To uh, around 30, yeah. 40, 40 give. No, 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 not so much. Reduce, 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 reduce. No, reduce significantly. Reduce, reduce further. Go steep cranial, lot of cranial. Yeah, lot of cranial. Yeah. Now reduce the, uh, yeah. the reduce the projection. Uh, LA works. Looks perfect. Yeah. Ready to inject? Shoot. Wonderful, Jiva. Very nice. Freeze and, and congratulations. What, what was your procedure time now with preparing all? So uh, it is a not so easy 
operative uh, uh, leisure. Chief, I think we're going to go uh, for a lecture now. Shaq, is a Shaq, you go for variant of a trancus. So come and drink. Yeah. Hmm? Shaq, you go for the lecture. We're I'm, go I, for I'm having a yeah. paravalver leak on eco navigation, which I will show once you are giving us a slot in between. You go for the lectures.